All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shield here on the channel. Where, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we went and we made ourselves wonderfully crazy punk leather aesthetic because we're going to take on the champion this way. And we figured, you know what, we go drastically opposite of what we've been the entire game. But just to show, I did some league card stuff while some friends were over. And so, this is the new league card. <laughs> This is my new league card. Isn't it wonderful? Love it. It is beautiful. I don't know why we made it this way, but we did, and it was great. So can we generate a card code here for everybody in case you guys want to have a card code? Let's see. Let's get a card code up on this. Yay. Uh, share your card. Sharing my card with everybody at home. So you can have my card and be like, I've collected it. So you go, you can give it your card by sharing your code. So there's Beef's card code. It's, ooh, b, -b <laughs> All right, stop sharing card code. Is it okay to stop sharing your card? Actually, no, no, I just want to close it. There we go. I forgot, I thought pressing plus was like backing out of the machine, but it wasn't. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to check the Rotom Lotto White. No, not boxes, no. I wanted to check the Rotom Lotto ID. Because I wanted to see if we could get uh, a match and see if we can't get a fabulous prize before going and taking on Leon. Because Leon sucks. And I was talking with friends at work, and apparently, let's see if it matches any IDs. Oh, oh you, damn it. Get out of here, kid. So apparently, my one friend was defeated by Leon the first time through, and then he said his Leon's team changed. So, I mean... That's crazy, right? Like, if Leon changes his team up, or at least the way he presents his team, like, in order. But we know he's going to have a Chirazza's Ch Rad. Right? We know he's going to have a Chirazza's Rad. So we're going to want to keep either Smiley or Granny. Uh, he might have a Dragon, too, so we might keep Smiley and Granny in the back. What I'm thinking was we might want to have Celeste up front, just in case we can get that Paralysis off. And then we can get, like, some sort of something happening going on here with that. So, I mean, everybody's being like, yo, hey, it's Beef, what up? She's going to beat the champion. She's going to be the new champion. End the series. So, go on, show us what you can do. Strong and noble, Beef is best. Please, can I have an autograph? Yo, yeah, sure, here, here, man. Here, have an autograph. Challenge Beef. Let's roll up. I don't know how they can even recognize me. I look so drastically different. I look so beautiful. <gasps> ball guy, you got a ball for me, ball guy? Ball guy, what up, ball guy? No, you still going to have the same ball, ball guy? Man. Yo, he did his ball guy thing, though. So that's cool. <sighs> All right. Let's tell them we're ready. Are you ready? We are. Then change your uniform and head on out. I'm in my uniform, kid. Don't talk to me that way. Oh, wind and gym. All right. Let's. It's weird not having our red ponytail, but it's our final... Final walk up. Beater champion. Oh, no, man. Don't give up. You're dang right. I'm not going to give up. I like how the last one you see says don't give up. Even though there's some people cheering against you, the last one you see is don't give up. I like it. Sup, Leon? Your cape's stupid. I respect that you try to flex with that flow, but your cape's dumb and I hate it. Your hat, though? Hat's all right. <laughs> My matches are always sold out, but this... I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, for this work, uh, for this week, Beef. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I could have, I, I couldn't have dreamed better. Man, why can't I speak today? I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Beef. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. And take off the cowl, dude. The, your cape is dumb. Ugh, he doesn't know what's going to happen. He doesn't know he's going to get absolutely bopped. For I did the most amazing training regimen. I changed my cosmetics. Bring it on, Leon. Oh, you do the face slap thing, too. Oh, you're an idiot sandwich. Oh, just like your brother, you're also an idiot sandwich. I love it. 
for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, you missed that tweet, but it was great. I, I did the whole Gordon Ramsay thing, the idiot sandwich meme, but I, I made Hop, that face that Hop did. I made that, uh, the second part of the meme. It's good. Go look it up. Oh, he's number one, is he? Ooh, Aegis Slash. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. Not a, uh, not a, not a great way to start out, because he's steel. It's one of the duties of the champion to get the crowd fired up. So, he is Ghost Steel, which means he's going to be super effective against us for our fairy typing. But maybe we can get off a Thunder Wave. I think he's fast, too. So he uses King Shield. I don't know if that's an attack or if that's a protect move. I think it's protect move, yeah. Oh, does it only protect against attacks, though, and not status effects? Interesting. It's been a while since I've used Aegis Slash, guys. I think I used one when I played XY, but, you know, as you do. I'm going to see if I can't pull off a Calm Mind here. Come on, baby, Calm Mind. Let's, let's, let's have it work. Celeste, you can do it, girl. Everybody believe in Celeste. It's under your power. Come on, baby. Yeah, I got that attack and defense. Stance change. Oh, he's going on the attack, huh? Blade form with an E. Flash cannon. Oh, damn, this might hurt. Yeah, that KO. Oh, not a KO. Oh, perfect. Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory. Yeah. That's, uh, it's bad for you, son, because Psychic. It should still do pretty okay against it, right? Or does Steel resist Psychic? Steel resist Psychic. Wonderful. I hate it. And he got off the Flash Cannon. Oh, well, we did a big chunk. We did a big chunk with Celeste. And we paralyzed it, so that's that's good, too. Oh, pardon me. Got a little bit of the gravel in the throat. So he is Steel, which means fire will melt him. So let us go. Because I remember Ghost is not weak to Psychic, but it's still vulnerable to Psychic. And Steel resists. I'm pretty sure Fairy would have done, like, nothing, if at all anything. So you could use Scald, or we could use Heat Crash. Skull, uh, heat Crash would probably do the best. Uh, so let's just go ahead and Heat Crash. Oh, the Chunky Brewster used a full restore. Well then. All right. That's still just a free hit for me. It's not a KO. Or it is a KO. Would you look at that? <laughs> Damn, son. A super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team, Beef. Dang, bro. There goes my sword, boy. I was hoping the paralysis would have ticked, but what are you going to do? Granny 65. Mm, geriatric as heck. Haxorus. Uh, Haxorus is going to absolutely destroy us. Uh, we could make it weak to fire and then try and hit it, but I think Haxorus is ground. Haxorus is ground dragon. So I'm going to switch to Granny, who's just going to be a better matchup for it, honestly. Come on, Granny, you got this, girl. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to Draco Meteor right at the gate. I'm not going to try and set up anything. We do have the Rocky Helmet, so <clears throat> we took off the leftovers for that kind of aspect. So, Oh, breaks the mold. Mold Breaker. I always forget what Mold Breaker does. And then I always look it up, and then I always forget. So... Draco Meteor probably will kill this guy in one hit. Hopefully. He's going to be faster than us. And Outrage is going to do quite a bit of damage, but we should be okay. Holy crap! Was that a crit? No! Damn! We did get that hit off Rocky Helmet, but Jesus. I didn't expect that to Oko. Oh, is that because that's a special attack? Outrage is special? Alright, well then we'll send in Smiley. Smiley should be able to bop this guy with a uh, freeze dry. We could also go for the hail. We could also Dynamax as well. Oh, he's no, because we only taken out one of his Pokemon. So let's just, let's just go for the freeze dry. And he's still doing the outrage. This shouldn't be too bad though. We also have leftovers, so that's good. Confused from the fatigue of outrage. Nope, freeze. No, no freeze. Oof, this is going to be bad. It might have been better to actually try and go for the uh, setup. Now, here's the thing. I could try and go for a setup because he is confused. Because he might try and do another outrage again, and he is clearly faster. So I could try and go for a setup, or I could just go for the freeze dry and hope for the kill. Because mm, setup at this point won't help me all that much. I could Dynamax, and then hopefully get everything set up. But 
If I Dynamax, I'm probably going to get KO'd and I won't be able to Aurora Veil anyway, even if I get that stuff. So I'm just going to try and freeze dry. I guess it's the best thing I can do. Come on, hurt yourself, baby. Hurt yourself. No! He used that rage again. Damn. And he's locked into it too, but it's still going to KO. Jesus, Outrage is strong. Alright, so let's see here now. Ground won't hit flying. Brave Bird will probably take him out. Steel Wing could also do some stuff too. Serenity probably won't do much. I mean, Serenity might actually do okay if we hit him with Scald, but Serenity's not... I mean, she's fast, but she's not faster than a Haxorus. Let's try... Let's just try Serenity anyway. We can also start trying to revive our Pokemon soon too. So, oh man, just gotta remember to edit this one thoroughly because I got all these little grovelly coughs and whatnot. So let's uh, slap on a Scald, see if Scald will do any good. Come on, hit yourself, hit yourself. Hit yourself! Damn it! I never get lucky with status effects that have a chance. And then Scald. If it doesn't kill, hopefully burns. No, no burn either. Damn it. I was hoping... Because the water's... Wait, is Haxorus not Dragon Ground? Because it should have been neutral effective, right? Huh. Alright. So, I'm going to take this... Because he's going to be either going to do it again or he's going to be confused again. So, let's go with Bag. Let's go with some uh, Max Revives here. Let's get Smiley back up. Because we're definitely going to need Smiley. Hopefully the Confusion hit ticks. Please, Confusion tick. Come on. God damn, Confusion hits me like every time. And yet it never works on any of my opponents. Alright, Serenity. Let's see. Uh, bag. We could do a, like, uh, a full restore or a max. We could use a max potion on Serenity here. Right? To max out the HP and hope there's a tick of confusion. Come on, confusion. It snapped out of its confusion and it's still doing outrage? Jesus. How are you so lucky? Get, get fatigued, though. Come on. No fatigue? All right. So... I'm just going to keep going. I can't believe that Outrage has not triggered one Confusion at all. Alright, so let's go with a another Max Revive on Granny. Since we know that uh, Serenity here can take up a bunch of stuff. Come on, man. Get confused and bop yourself. Alright, we're good. We're still good. It's, it's mostly just set up because it speed's definitely going to outspeed us. So let's just do... We could use Full Restore... Revival Herb, Antidote, Energy Root is, is only 120. Energy Powder 60, so Full Restored probably your bet. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Hyper Potion is only 122. So Full Restored probably the best bet. There we go. I know Full Restore is kind of half wasted if you use it when they're not having a status effect, but whatever. It gives us an extra hit from this Outrage, which is fine. Outrage is a very strong move. Now he's confused. Good. So Serenity might be able to... No, we don't want to go to bag. We wanted to fight. So we could try Heat Crash. Probably won't do a ton. Scald... Because if he's... I'm pretty sure he's like ground, right? I'm pretty sure he's like 100% ground. But Heat Crash is still probably going to do more than Scald will. So let's just try it. Or Rock Slide. Let's give Rock Slide can flinch. But we're going second. So let's just Heat Crash. Let's just try the Heat Crash. Or hit yourself, please. Hit yourself, please. Earthquake. Oh, he is ground. There's the Earthquake. That's the KO. There's the, there's the Earthquake KO. I've been waiting for him to do Earthquake, but I, that's why I was like, he should have Earthquake. Like, where's this ground attack here? Uh, we could put in Smiley again. Granny will probably just get one shot, so we'll go and put Smiley back in, see if we can't set up. I'm going to try and do Hail first, honestly. Hail and Aurora Hail, see if we can't get the setup going. <sighs> because that was the first make mistake I made was thinking I could bop him with the ice attack. Let's see. Hit yourself. Come on. He's had like six chances to hit himself. And he just doesn't. Is that one shot? No, good. Not one shot. Critical hit though. Lucky punk. Don't get caught up on critical hit. Focus on what you're doing. going to do next. I mean, I'm, I am focusing on what I'm going to do next, dude. Hail. Set up. Hail's going to hopefully kill you. Probably not, but at least I'll get the double dip from uh, my healing body. Icy body and leftovers should heal up a nice chunk. Look at that. Oh, that health recovery is so good. 
If only I had to swap in Leech Seed with that, that'd be so decent. It'd be so juicy. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and use a, uh, a Hyper Potion on Smiley right here. Just because the, the hail is going to kill him. And if I don't heal, he's just going to bot me. Regardless. So, unless he kills himself, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. Finally. Oh my god, yes. Finally, like, what was that? Like, six confusions? Seven confusions? And only one time it hits? I swear to god, every time I'm confused, I hit myself every other time. So here we go. Smiley's icy body. And her leftovers should put us back in peak physical condition. And then we'll, then we'll Aurora Veil and everything's going to be good, hopefully. Unless he puts in Charizard. Uh, Rhyperior? Shiza, that's ground. Uh, keep her in I think Rhyperior is pretty slow, though, so at least if we can get the setup. It's rock ground, I'm pretty sure, because it's, it's right on, right? It didn't change to steel or nothing. All right, so let's go Aurora Veil. Nice, I'm faster, perfect. Oh, thank God. Thank God for this. Stone Edge, this will do super effective, but hopefully not a ton. Nice. So we can withstand one more attack. Which means we probably can hit this boy with Liquidation. If he has Sturdy, it's no longer going to trigger. Liquidation probably won't kill because he is probably very physically defensively buff. Uh, we could... I mean, he's got four Pokemon left, including this one. Which means we're... I'm saving my Dynamax for Charizard, for sure. Uh, let's try Liquidation. See what's up. Boom! Oh, that was a nice hit. It was a good hit. Stone Edge might kill. Come on. Yes! Oh, five health, baby. Five health. That's what I like to see, Smiley. Oh. Yeah, baby, and soak up that hail. Mmm, it's delicious. There's some weird, creepy, flying fossil fish from the nether regions. All right, let's bop him with liquidation again. Oh, it's so good. I'm glad we're faster. Super effective. The faint. Oh, yes. Everybody good. Everybody great. The hail stopped. Oh, no. My hail. Which means next turn Aurora Veil's gone, too. <sighs> so I could heal up, or I could try and re-trigger the hail, depending on who's coming out next. It's sending Dragapult. That's a dragon. Uh, switch Pokemon. I think this thing's really freaking fast. So, we're going to keep current Pokemon. Dragapult. This is the only problem with not having, like, super great, fast creatures kind of like this. You know, as you don't get to, usually get to go first. We can try Freeze Dry. We could also, like, heal Dynamax, but that might not do the best. What I might do is I might just try and attack with Dragapult, send in something else, fully revive... Uh, smiley and then Dynamax slash set up everything if we can. So let's try Freeze Dry. Hopefully we're faster. Probably not. Use Thunderbolt. Yeah, we're done. Thunderbolt is very strong. Alright, so he is a dragon. We know he has at least an electric attack. So who knows? We might be able to get Granny up on in. Probably got a very strong dragon attack, though. But let's, let's see if we can't Draco Meteor. I mean, we could also then go and Dynamax Granny, but I kind of want to save it. Use Dragon Breath. Ooh, this might kill us because special attack. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Paralysis, of course. Isn't that... Of course I get paralyzed. Of course I get paralyzed. They never get paralyzed. They never get confused, but of course I do. Because F me, I guess. And it's just going to keep bopping for Dragon Breath. And I'm never going to get to act at all. Wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. Are you seeing this, like, garbage? Twice in a row, yet I can't even get a single... I got one trigger. One trigger off of, like, seven or eight different status effect chance happenings. And I get two in a row. And people are saying that I need to make Pokemon harder. Yeah, right. I guess they just don't have my luck, huh? Use Dragon Breath as long as I don't get paralyzed. As long as I don't get paralyzed. Jesus. I swear to God, if it triggers again. Good. Dead. Die, kid. 
Nothing stands up to Draco Meteor. None of your garbage does. Alright, we can't really rely on Draco Meteor again, though. Because it sort of trounced our, uh, our special attack. Rillaboom? Rillaboom is straight up grass, yeah? So let's do it. Swap Pokemon to flying. Let's get Amaya in here. It's been a while since we've seen Amaya, but she's our lovely Corviknight. Pokemon I knew I'd be using since I saw it. Because I love uh, Nightbirds. This thing's going to get bopped. So it's got Rillaboom and then Charizard next, right? Yeah, Rillaboom and then Charizard. So... Dynamaxing probably wouldn't be good. Steel Brave Bird's probably the best one to do here. We could do Hone Claws once, just to see. Because Brave Bird's got 100, Steel Wing's got 90. We could do Hone Claws once, just to see what would happen. But I'm pretty sure Brave Bird would just knock it out anyway. So I'm going to just go straight for the Brave Bird. Oh, I should have did this setup. I didn't know he would try and trigger Endeavor, which is going to keep him alive with one health, right? Oh, no. Oh, Ende oh Endeavor's the health-based move, not Endure. I was thinking of Endure. All right. What is it in chairs aired, huh? Uh, we're going to keep current Pokemon and hopefully... I'm not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. Alright, so he's going to Gigantamax his Charizard 100%. There is no question about it. So, I am just going to spend these next few turns just max reviving my Pokemon. Uh, we could max revive Serenity. That might be a good, a good choice, because he's probably going to have a lot of uh, fire attacks. So if he hits with a fire attack... Our spood's gonna get be uh, our spood's gonna get beasted. Our spood is gonna get beasted. Our speed is gonna get boosted like mad crazy, and we still have like grunge and smiley that we can also pull back on. Uh, Smiley's fainted, but we'll we'll max revive Serenity first because he's definitely gonna get Gigantamax and do any sort of fire attack. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. Uh, it's Gigantamax time. So it's gonna knock out a Maya like a hundred percent no matter what because I'm pretty sure she's not very specially inclined, and he's probably going to use a, a G-Max attack that's extremely special in nature, so there we go, there's Charizard, who's flaming from the mouth. Oh no, that wasn't a flame from the mouth, that was his little uh, flame on the tentacle, I thought it was a flame from his mouth too. Oh no, there is a flame from his mouth too, okay. It's a champion time to turn up the heat, Charizard. Time for our G-Max, baby. G-Max Wildfire, yeah, this 100% would have killed me no matter what. Well, that's fine. And it's surrounded by fire? I guess that was, like, flame spin, I suppose? Let's just... Should we drop in Serenity now, or wait? Because we could throw in Granny to eat up an attack, and then revive Smiley as well. But I'm thinking maybe just swap into Serenity right now. Maybe bait something. You know, we could go for the... Could go for the revive right now, or we could go for the scald. Scald really wouldn't do anything much either, and we can't. I mean, it would do it would do a nice chunk of damage, but I'm thinking maybe we save it, or we could Dynamax ourselves. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna risk a biscuit here, and I'm going to revival herb. Smiley. I'm a, it's a risky biscuit, I know. But I'm going to see what he's got. If he's got Earthquake or anything, I'm going to be screwed. Max Overgrowth? Oh. Overgrowth? That's not going to do very much at all. I mean, that, did, that still did a ton, but it didn't do a ton. So Grassy Terrain's going to heal up all the Pokemon standing on the floor, right? Which is both of us. Unless G-Max Charizard doesn't count. So, uh, let's go Fight and Scald. Now, we could also Dynamax now. But, let's just try Scald. Max Rock... Oh, no, there we go. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna be the KO. <gasps> Is it not? Was that 13 health I saw? Yo, was that 13 health I saw? Well, I mean, we're not dead. So, yeah, baby. And he's gonna keep getting chipped by the Sandstorm, too. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. And he didn't gain any health from that, did he? Because he's not standing on the ground because he's flying. 
because he's a Charizard. All right, perfect. So we can easily just heal up, or we can try and Dynamax ourselves and do something, but our speed has not been increased at all yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and full restore on Serenity here, just because we're in a decent position to take him out. I mean, I could have easily just over-leveled and got my stuff up to like 65, 70, like every game that you usually do, right? But whatever. Ancient power? Dude, ancient power's dumb. And you're just chipping away at yourself now. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. Trini's waiting my decision. Let's fight. Uh, we could Dynamax. Let's do it. And then Max Geyser. I wish Max Geyser, when it caused the rain, would increase my speed once per turn. Like, just one stage, because I'm a steam engine Pokemon. That would have been cool. But it doesn't, because that would have made this Pokemon absolutely broken. Just because it would have made it just a crazy good sweeper. I wish it had a better, like, fire-type physical move, though. That would have been... would have been nice. Charizard kept using Ancient Power. Yeah, go ahead. You do that. You do you, Charizard. I'm going to uh, just blast you with some water. And watch your health dribble down to nothingness. Although we won't get the Sandstorm tick anymore because it's going to change to rain. That's fine, though. It's also going to mean that his fire power attacks are now weaker. And my Scald should be stronger. So, you know what? Let's take him out with Max, Rocks, Max Rock Ball. I probably should have been using the uh, Rock Attack because it's probably four times effective. But hey, whatever. This is how you crush the champion's dreams, right here. <laughs> that is how you crush the champion's dreams. Literally under a gigantic 17-ton rock. And then watch him cry. And then everybody levels up, hooray! <laughs> Serenity levels up, deservedly so. Smiley, deservedly so. So the champion wasn't that hard. I mean, all our Pokemon were slow. They weren't super bulky. But using items as you do wasn't that hard. Leon wasn't that hard. I'm glad he's got. I'm glad his shirt's got the Sword and Shield logo on it. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been! Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. I mean, yeah, because he finally lost. Yo, he pays out good. Give me your cape. I'm gonna burn it. <laughs> you don't deserve to have your cape. We've beaten the champion. We now are the champion. Beef is the champion. Is it going to just credits roll right now? The screen went black. I'm scared. Help me. Help me. Where's my Pokemon? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. It was taking too long. Yo, is that your Charizard in there? Just resting up? <gasps> mummy! Hello, Mummy. Congratulations, Beef. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right? I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Yeah! I did it! And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now, for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Beef, what you ought to do now is... Believe in yourself and your partner Pokémon, and keep on doing something in order to create a, the bright future we all hope to see. Sometimes the text goes a little too fast and I cannot read it. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Beef. Yay! Look at how pretty I am. I am so good. I am the Pokemon master. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what she can do. Hooray! I did it. I did the weaning. Is it credits roll time? Oh my god, it's credits roll time! I have done beat the Pokemans! We didn't even get our signature, like, version dog, though. Like, usually you get it, like, you usually get it before endgame. That's so weird, that's so weird. And I know some people are gonna be looking forward to, like, the post-game content and such, but, uh, this is good, though. 45 episodes is a good length for a Pokemon series, especially because if we did it at the speed that everybody else did it, this would have been like a uh, a 90, 100 part series, that's for sure. But I like how you've got the two amped up uh, and low-key versions there, and then Obstagoon singing, I guess it sings. 
I don't know why, but it does. And then Rillaboom playing the drums, so you get the whole band there. Mm. As I take my sip, because we're going to do the traditional end-of-series talk, sort of the review part of the game. So I had a lot of fun with Pokemon Shield, guys. I always have fun with the Pokemon games, as long as they're like the main series Pokemon titles, right? I always have a ton of fun with them. They're always good. I always like seeing what new Pokemon are introduced, and I know I missed a ton, too, because we were mostly doing for the story, and I usually go at the end game and try and find all the new Pokemon as well. But I like just going to the new routes, exploring the wild areas, finding the new Pokemon, seeing how they pop up. You know, the story wasn't great, but the story's never really that great in Pokemon games. I know some people are on to Gen 5 for its story because they really like N, and I think there's a couple other one games that people really like for the story. I know people hate on X and Y, it's like the worst gen, but I had a lot of fun with X and Y and Sun and Moon. The last three gens I've had a ton of fun with. So, because I guess I just don't really care as much as other people. Like, I care about Pokemon, I do, I love Pokemon, but I guess I don't care as much about Pokemon as other people do. They, I think they care too much about Pokemon. It's a baby game for babies, guys. It's not meant to be difficult. There's not supposed to be this huge, you know, difficulty spike. You know, it doesn't matter that it doesn't have difficulty options. It doesn't matter that it's not meant for adults. It's a game for everybody. You're supposed to be able to pick it up and be able to play. You know, the competitive aspect and the competitive training and all that stuff, that is for adults. Because most kids don't understand the competitive viableness of IVs, EVs, etc. Because they don't teach you it in the game, so no one's going to know. None of the kids are going to know what all that means because they don't teach it to you in the game. It's something you ha actively have to go and seek out and learn. So, there was I did have a few gripes. Uh, you know, one of the things that pe people got upset about was like the pop-in of the game. I actually really liked the pop-in. I thought it was a great way to help refresh the, the patches of grass and the Pokemon that can spawn there. Uh, just that way you didn't have to run too far, right? You didn't have to run an insane amount of distance away from the grass in order to respawn what's there in order to try and pop that rare spawn or, you know, whatever you'd try and be doing in that area. Uh, the max raid battles are super cool. Uh, I love those. I love getting in on those. I'm going to have to actually start doing those now on my own time because I've been trying to avoid them because I didn't want to catch something or level up or get a bunch of stuff off camera anymore like I did in the early game when the game was still fresh. Max Raid Battles are cool, you know, they introduce a bunch of stuff, the Gigantamax stuff is kind of cool. Uh, the new breeding system, I have been told, is really good. I haven't had a chance to breed any Pokemon yet, but I've heard it's a lot faster, so you can pop out eggs pretty fast and shiny hunt that way for a good amount of time. Uh, I just... I like the environments, I wish... I'm going to agree half. Half, it's like a half agree. With a lot of people saying that they wish that the roots were a bit more involved. Like, they had side paths and secret areas and stuff. I kind of do agree that I wish that the roots held a little bit more secret paths, or at least something to do on them. Uh, I kind of wish there was they put in, like, items in the game, like key items that you could do that would help you open up new paths on previous routes so you could go back and discover stuff. Whoa, look at all those logos! Those are some good logos in the game, you guys. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this journey. I really do appreciate it. With everybody still... Oh, roll out! <laughs> Wooloo used roll out. Bah! The end. Look at that. But we're not done. I mean, we're done for the series, but we are not done for the video because we still have a few more things to talk about about the game. So, yeah, so Pokemon, just in general, has always been a good stuff. I've always enjoyed their games. I've always enjoyed the gameplay. I do like how they kept up with some of their new uh, additions. Oh, wow, it was actually timing out, because it's like, you haven't put a, post a button in a long time. So, oh, I guess we're going to see how this happens then, I guess, and give you, like, a little teaser for the end game content, if you're not familiar. Or, or there we go, I guess it's telling me where to go next. So I guess now is when we get to go challenge our, uh, our version exclusive pup. I am going to buy the DLC, and whenever the DLC releases, I might do a uh, run through the DLC. I don't know. I have no idea, uh... You know, it's just uh, what I'm going to do, right? It's just what I'm going to do. I wonder if the Switch changes. The question of the day, I know it's at the very end. Does that Switch change the Joy-Con colors depending on what Joy-Con colors you have connected? Because I have the pink and green one, so it's pink and green for me. And I want to know if it's, like, gray for you or red and blue for you. Because if they did do that, that'd be crazy. That'd be, like, a really crazy little addition. But, yeah, the new Pokemon. I love some of the new Pokemon. I mean, it's they've added in some of my favorite Pokemon that they have ever have added in the game. Like, uh, Corviknight is by far one of my favorite flying types in the game. 
Uh, I really love it. I've, I always loved Skarmory for being steel flying, and now I've got a way cooler steel flying Pokemon to fall back on. Uh, out of nowhere, I love Serenity. I love the coal-powered Kaiju-type mountain Pokemon vibe going here. Really good. Grunge is definitely top three favorite Pokemon. You know, Toxitricity. So good, right? Corviknight, Colossal, uh, Toxitricity. Out of the gate, I, I have no idea why, like, I, I love these guys so much, but I love Grunge. I love Toxitricity, especially because Poison types I always, I've always loved, and weird combinations of Poison types. Poison Fire, Poison, like, Water, Poison Electric, all these cool things. Smiley was a, uh, a sleeper hit, you know? I think they're still kind of stupid, and I kind of wish you could re-put the fossils back together proper, but uh, I just think it's kind of funny. Granny, once again, another sleeper hit out of nowhere. I thought Appleton would be absolutely garbage. Turns out Granny helped us sweep so much. Granny helped us sweep so much of the game. Celeste, I kind of actually wish I went with Galarian Rapidash, because I didn't really... Every time she got hit, she died. So, you know, she wasn't that fast, and she wasn't that strong. I guess she was supposed to be specially defensive, I guess. Let's check the summary real quick. I mean, yeah, special attack and special events were pretty good. Well, even her defense was kind of good, but she just got bopped every time she got hit, so... I don't know, you know? But yeah, I'm looking forward to the DLCs. Really good. Everybody at work that I work with is having a wonderful, grand old time. I know we didn't get an Alcremie, but I know how to get an Alcremie. And I just... I liked the game. I know some people were ragging on the art aesthetic, right? I, I do like the aesthetic that they kind of chose for art. Uh... And yeah, I guess I just... A few of the Pokemon designs I didn't really like. I mean, the Legendary Dogs, obviously you know, you watched that episode. Uh, Eternatus, the Hydra form was kind of dumb. And overall, the music was great. I loved the music, I loved the remixes, I loved everything about the music. Made the game feel like a Pokemon game, that is 100% for sure. And the presentation was good. I liked the region. I liked what they did with this region. I liked how they tried to make it a thing. But I kind of wish each area sort of lasted a bit longer. I, I guess that is sort of a, a gripe that other people had too, is they wished that... Oh, ding dong. I guess that they, some people were saying that they wished the game was longer. I don't necessarily w wish that the game was longer. I just wish that the roots had a, a little bit more to them, you know? Like, in the old games, they weren't even that long either, but they had, like, they were thick, you know? They, they did have separate places you could go, or NPCs to talk to, or TMs to find and pick up, or go back to get, so. Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you as a celebration. Is it a wishing star? Oh, damn, Master Ball. Dope. <laughs> Professor Magnolia, why didn't you, or why did, why you didn't come all this way? After everything Beef has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are parts of Eternatus, and when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. Yeah, we know this. But Beef and her friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galar culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Beef, please do what you believe is best. I'm gonna go catch me a puppo. A big old dog. Can I control my character again? Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. Alright. But yeah, so... All in all, I'd give Pokemon Shield like 7 out of 10. It's a good, solid game. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. I had a lot of fun with it. I like the character customization. Tons. All, always character customization. I love it. It's great. Especially if you can make me look like a weird punk rocker and just as we opened up the series by spinning and posing for the camera we're going to end the series by spinning and posing for the camera so thank you all so very much for joining me on this journey on this wonderful pokemon adventure and i guess until next time or until next series take care everybody <laughs>